Hi guys and welcome to the next lesson uh, in my Share Factory series. This lesson is going to show you how to make a thumbnail image for your YouTube videos. And it really couldn't be simpler guys, so let's get through this. Uh, first of all you pick a project, can be any project, and you're looking for an image or a particular screenshot or something from that video uh, that you can use as your thumbnail. Remember thumbnails are going to be very small. Um, so there needs to be something that clearly stands out. Something like these cutscenes as I'm showing you here uh, as part of the Velocity 2X game. Uh, these look really good even when they're shrunk down. So this is the one I want to use. And the first thing you need to do to take a, is take a screenshot of this image. So, very important, go to full screen in Share Factory, hitting the L2 button. As you can see here, we're now full screen. Just wait for that little bar at the bottom to disappear and then hold down the Share button. If you hold Share, it will take a screenshot automatically for you. You can't see that on screen, that's just a bit of uh, copyright there. Um, so, what you next need to do is go all the way to say the beginning or anywhere you like really but this can also work as a title screen and add a screenshot um, instead of adding a clip you go and add a screenshot so I'm gonna select that one I have literally just taken and you can see there it's appeared at the beginning of the video now this is where you just simply add uh, some effects and the effects in this case are going to be text clear text st make sure it stands out remember this is for a thumbnail um, and I am going to just show you another little trick you can do um, in a moment just to get give you an idea that's what uh, the this the screen is going to look like um, just typing a little more text here yep okay Make sure it's uh, as large a uh, font as you can. Um, this is pretty much the largest one you're going to get in Share Factory, but it looks really good, I think. Um, some of the other fonts work just as well. I just think you need to do something that's quite, quite wide, so, so quite a wide font, and obviously as large as you can get. So this little thing I'm just going to show you here adds a little uh, effect just to show you, uh, show, make it look like there's a shadow um, behind the text. So I've just changed the colour of this particular text, the word walk through, the walk through uh, to black and I'm going to copy exactly the same um, text or add the same text in exactly the same case and just leave that as white over the top. So if you select that when you're in this uh, screen just press circle to back out and there you go you can see the walk through there stands out much clearer than the, the Velocity 2X uh, text at the top of the screen so I'm going to do the same thing with that Like I said, you can use these, uh, this technique or anything like this for, for sections in your video. You can make it a, a title screen or in the middle of your video if you want to announce another clip. Um, you can use this technique uh, as you like, of course. Uh, but I found it really useful and really easy uh, to, to make thumbnails very quickly based on the game I'm actually using to make the video for. So. If you want to uh, check out some of my videos, um, just below below the, uh, this, this video you'll see some links to the Velocity 2X walkthrough um, obviously that is exactly what I am uh, making here and uh, please guys if you, uh, if you like those videos there's plenty of them and there's going to be a few more so make sure it's lined up nicely just as I was doing there um, it can be a little tricky to get that last the last line of text, the white one, to overlay on the, uh, the, the black background or whatever colours you like, of course, um, because the, the stick isn't as sensitive as you would want it to be. It's a shame you can't turn down the uh, sensitivity of the stick though, so you can move in maybe one or two pixels high. Um, I found that, you know, a tiny little adjustment suddenly, whoop, it's gone right, right away from where I wanted it to go. Uh, but here is uh, the last bit of text there, I've just showing you the actual levels that I'll be playing. Remember, don't make it too wordy, just make it clear, concise, and describe properly what your video is about. I mean, it's all over YouTube recommendations to add thumbnails to your, to your videos, simply because um, it, if people are looking for, they're searching for, say, they're searching for Velocity 2X walkthroughs, um, they're going to get a whole list of videos uh, on screen, and your one, if that stands out amongst the rest, is the one that they are more likely to click on. So there you go. 
that is the thumbnail that I will be using for this particular video. Next thing you need to do is do that process we did at the beginning. Go full screen and then hold down the share button which will automatically capture a screenshot for you. There you go, you have your image and you can upload it to, in the same way that you normally would, copy it to USB, uh, upload it to Facebook and download from there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks a lot. Good night.